So, guards and angels and spirits and guides, please allow us to receive messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising from his or her soulmate. Something they would never say out loud to Sagittarius, so that we make Sagittarius aware and awaken to the energies. Oh, okay, a couple of, a couple more. One, oh, okay. And the second one, and we're done, Sagittarius. Okay. Good. Now let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the um, the uh, the most important message from your soulmate. I wanted to say the overall, but actually the most important one. And I believe um, if you are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they uh, might be at the distance. Um, you think about them, they think about you, you know how it goes. Um, if it's not a fire sign, might be about um, emotionally imbalanced. And oh my God, Sagittarius, you do have three queens here. You have a queen of cups, you have a queen of swords, and you have a queen of pentacles upright. And a three of swords. And a family card, the ten of pentacles. So this is how it goes, uh, Sagittarius, you do have uh, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, that is, um, I believe, the one close to you, um, and uh, I believe there is a family here, and also a heartbreak uh, in regards to the family, and again, this Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is close to you, and then we have these energies of Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, so I don't know if you are dealing with multiple people here, they might be at the distance, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, and it is about uh, them thinking about you and you thinking about them, I believe. Lots and lots of feminine energy here, as such that is. But still, in the mix, somebody is heartbroken. And uh, this soulmate of yours wants you to know, actually. Um, that they are heartbroken. You can't have, um, you, you can only have one soulmate, Sagittarius. So I don't know if you, well, you have three feminine energies here. Uh, can be three males, right? For, um, you know, for the, uh, Sagittarius women or, uh, men. Um, you can only have one soulmate. So I don't know, somebody's here is, uh, lying to themselves. Anyways, let's see what your soulmate wants to tell you. If there were harsh, ex harsh exchange of words with the Queen of Swords, she can be harsh sometimes. And here you come here, right in the middle of it. Okay. If there were harsh exchanges, uh, such that is the person you uh, you had these exchanges, they uh, they want to reconcile. They want to be uh, more sweet and soft. They walked away. They walked away. They needed time alone, Sagittarius. This uh, person, this soulmate of yours, uh, he or she needed time alone, needed needed time, uh, you know, for spiritual growth, uh, bring themselves in balance. They left not because they were unhappy, but they left because they thought something else is better for them out in the world, and they needed that. They walked away for a new perspective, and they walked away because of work issues here. We do have eight of pentacles this might be about uh, because of money because of salary because of income um, maybe because of uh, conflict that is something in regards to work that this this person needed to take care of and needed to walk away from maybe you met in the workplace Sagittarius with this person um, honestly it might be a work connection here um, Four of Pentacles, somebody holds on to the connection with you. Somebody doesn't want to let go of this connection. They still uh, cling on to you. Uh, this is the card of keeping you, um, you know, close to their chest and not wanting to let go, if the case is to let go. Um, three of Cups in reverse. Well, they are a little bit unhappy. <clears throat> three of uh, Cups is a card of, it's the friendship card. So, um, right now I believe that they are not quite friendly with you, with the devil in reverse. I believe that is something that is a little bit, um, a little bit toxic. This is also Capricorn energy. So I, something, um, 
you know, they might be a little bit cold, not friendly. They might, uh, you know, be uh, giving you the cold shoulder, the silent treatment, not wanting to reunite with you, not wanting to work with you right now. I believe they are focusing on something else. But um, there is a sense of um, not wanting to let go. Of course, Four of Pentacles is also about money and financial um you know the way we relate to money the way we make money the way we spend money so i don't know if you uh this soulmate of yours we have the family card i don't know if you've been married to this person but um this connection was also important because of money now sagittarius they want to take a leap of faith with you they want a new beginning this soulmate of yours and you have so many energies right you have all the energies by the way uh, you have the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Maybe you have water in your chart and that is why the water is coming. Is uh, the card this year, I want to say. Um, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And you do have Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn. And you have another Capricorn here. So somebody wants a new leap of faith, faith with you after a period of really tough times of toxic connections. I believe fights. Uh, walking away and then coming back because of uh, you know money issues also eight of pentacles king of cups in reverse so somebody is emotionally in balance here and but they are gaining clarity over here they are dropping whatever is tough and harsh uh, in their lives and they are I believe preparing themselves um, for this new beginning I'm not sure such that is their they are high vibration uh, you'll have to look, you know, you'll have to look around you and eventually evaluate by yourself. But toxic energies, that is the three of swords. Somebody is heartbroken. Um, temperance in reverse, I know it's your card, but it's also about uh, moderation in reverse, which means something, somebody is abusing something here. Somebody is not in balance. Somebody is not listening to their inner voice, um, their um, higher purpose in life. With the devil in reverse, three of cups in reverse, three of um, pentacles in reverse. This is also about a third party situation. We have too many threes. So <laughs> um, that is a, I don't know, your soulmate, this soulmate of yours is going through the ringer right now. And I believe they are in pain over you. And they are in pain about um, a situation that happened. I don't know. Right? This is your card. Uh, this is a beautiful message of saying that they see you for who you are, actually extremely sensual and sexual. This is a card of a thrill seeker, somebody coming in and having fun and then walking out the door, um, being there only for, you know, the fun part of it. Uh, but in the same time, being beautiful, being energetic, being, um, you know, um, passionate about something, ones are about career and passion. Um, and also uh, wanting to reciprocate this, right? And again, we do have the Ace of Wands, another sensual card over here. So I believe they see um, um, they see you as an object of desire, or a, I don't know, an object, maybe not an object, but anyways, they are very attracted to you in a very um, in a very sensual way, in a very sexual way, and they are telling you actually. But they also want commitment, Sagittarius. So this soulmate of yours, uh, he or she wants commitment. Wants the traditional kind of commitment with a wedding. We know how it goes. The kids, the house, the home and all that. And uh, it has to be solid. This is also Taurus energy. Okay. But somebody, somebody needs some graduate. Somebody needs to graduate a kind of a difficult period. Nine of Cups in reverse. They don't have wish fulfillment. Maybe communication with you is not that good. But look at the cup that they have for you. Okay, this is your energy, King of Wands. Unless you are dealing with another fire sign here. And if you do, of course, they love you. They want to communicate with you, and they are not quite happy here. Um, if not, again, this is, I mean, look at this, right? Ace of Cups, this is a new beginning, a new chance in love. And Ace of Wands, a passionate new beginning, a very sensual one and complete one with emotions and passion, right? And a new beginning here. But there are, again, some energies emotionally empty, 
trying to have a new perspective, clinging on to something that's toxic. That is three of swords. Again, we have almost all the threes. We have three of pentacles, three of cups, and three of swords, right? We don't have the three of wands to complete the uh, third party situation. When we have the four of them, we know that it was a big boom in terms of the connection because, you know, somebody uh, kind of played around a little bit and had too much fun. So um, probably it's this person, but they are acknowledging it and there is a sense of uh, trying to deal with this and trying to deal with, um, you know, the low vibration over here. <clears throat> and they needed time alone. Now you'll have to let me know all these feminine energies uh, here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. You'll let me know what it is. Maybe you have in your chart water, maybe you have air or earth can be that too but I believe the heartbreak is with the queen of um, pentacles who is uh, close to you because the card is upright the energies are upright so uh, he or she is in your uh, immediate environment okay and you show up a little bit upside down so that is something about this person that is kind of annoying you a little bit um, and might be in regards to money to family with the ten of pentacles but Overall, that is love and that is uh, attraction in this connection. And that is a desire, um, you know, to start new again. Okay. So, such that is. You'll have to let me know what you think, guys. Of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And come see me next time. Please hang in there. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.